Hi, everyone. Uh, welcome back to the Heroes webinar. My name is Comfort Convoy. Today is Sunday, the 15th of this, it's September 2024, and it's another exciting day. We've had a beautiful week with people doing so much, people coming up to the uh, spotlight and we're discovering new people, new uh, uh, figures coming out of the woodworks every day. And then the older faces in the house, just making it happen again and again and again. Yesterday was another brilliant day. If you missed the hero session yesterday, now the old tech pros yesterday, you want to go and watch it. But then today we are coming back to say what we said yesterday, but all they cannot always be said the same. It's just going to be layering up on what we had from our brothers and friends and sisters of yesterday. So the topic for today says ignite and motivate. Whatever is motivating you, something you've heard from the CEO, whether recently or in 2018, even in the recording he did, or something you've heard from a fellow affiliate that struck you, that's igniting you, just use that today to keep the fire burning. And on this note, I would like my brother Bob to launch this session for us and see how it goes. Welcome, bro. Wow, okay. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, it's good to see you. This is your brother Bob from Bel Air, Maryland. It's always a pleasure being here. Thank you, my sister Comfort. Thank you to all everyone who's joining us today. Um, yes, so we're going to ignite and inspire you and motivate you uh, as much as we can today. You know, um, the past few months have been very, very, very uh, engaging. For those of us who've been following up, who've been uh, plugged in, you you know you you realize that our founder Mr. Ash has been preparing us week after week after week as we are going along. Uh, but before I proceed, let me let me quote the great Dr. Martin Luther King. He said, "The arc of our moral universe is long, but it ultimately bends towards justice." And we can say that the arc of our own passive has also been very long, but it is ultimately bending towards reality as well. And if you have been following our founder, Mr. Ash, you will see that he has been taking us up through that arc and the curve has turned. Let me use another Latin phrase. It's called citeris paribus. It means if all else being equal, or as in English we say, under STP, under standard temperature and pressure. If all else is equal, then today is, um, today is the 15th of September. So we have two more weeks, following what our founder, Mr. Ash, has been telling us. So we should be excited, we should be inspired, we should be happy to be here at this juncture. Because based on what Mr. Ash told us from the past outings, this is the month. This is the month. So we believe, and I believe that any moment from now, could be tomorrow, it could be next week, could be on the 30th of September, any moment from now, guys, our founder is going to open up our OES because that's what he said. That's the first step. We're going to come back. We're going to open the OES. That's the first sign. Once we see that OES back up, and it is coming back exactly as it was on the 24th of June. So that's about three months ago. So do not expect much, but be excited because we've been down for three months. And when you are back or when you come back, remember as Father says that we are going to come back bigger and better than we were before. There has been some drastic changes, he says, but all is for our good. So when he comes back in those two weeks, or when he comes back any moment from now, immediately we would know the next step, our next direction which is positive, and he tells us that it's going to be as we were as we were supposed to have been two years ago. So just imagine. That's why I'm excited. That's why I'm, I feel inspired. I feel hopeful. I feel motivated. Just imagine if we had launched two years ago, where we would have been. That is a picture that Mr. Ash has, has drawn in our mind's eyes. So imagine that we have launched two years ago. So when he comes back, when we see our OES and we come back, he's going to give us some directives, which we are asking each and every one of us to follow. 
because that takes us to the next phase, which should have been about two years ago. Okay? So, Citeris Paribus, all else being equal, under standard temperature and pressure, that's what is going to happen. Within the next two weeks, we should be excited and know uh, our next directions. And when that happens, this is now how I'm feeling. Is why I have this burning desire of gratitude, of love, motivation, and everything. Because I know that theory, that thing that had been in my head, that I've been talking about with my brother for a long time before he died, that theory, that 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 ash before that global sweep, as we call it, it's a sweep that is coming. It's a it's a juggernaut. It's a it's an unstoppable force. Once this starts going the way we think it's going, then the ash before a global sweep sweep begins. And what is it? It is how it's just an imaginary thinking. It's a thought. It's a school of thought, and it it seems likely to be possible because we know that the day dawns in Australia is. Today is already tomorrow in Australia. So we're going to wake up one of these days and people in Australia are going to be screaming, hey, this is what is happening. And then thereafter, Asia wakes up. When Asia wakes up, we're talking about India, Pakistan, Bangladesh, China, Japan. That's almost what, about three, 3 billion people. Then it goes to Europe, Middle East, Africa, North and South America. The traffic. That is circulating around. That's the global sweep. And who does it go to? It goes comes to us, to you and I. Remember, every customer that comes into all passive goes through you and I. That's the Ash Mufara global sweep. That is imminent. It is here. It is coming. And this happens when everything is in full force. When we say when the pistons, I use an automobile metaphor here. The pistons is a, a piston is a is a is a part in the in a car in the engine of a car is the one that hits the cylinder to give that car what we call a torque, the maximum torque, the speed that the car takes. And that's what is happening as soon as our father, Ash Mufara comes and tells us exactly what's happening. I will get to that point. So I'm excited. I'm hopeful. I hope all of us, everyone listening to us now or those who will listen later, we have bent that curve and reality is about to hit us. Thank you, Sister Comfort. Wow. Thank you. Thank you so much, Brother Bob. That was a powerful opening. And guys, before we go ahead, those who are watching us live, those who would watch us this minute and later on, I take a disclaimer. Whatever thing we do here, we are sharing excitement. We are not bringing any official message from Mr. Bufara to anybody. We are sharing uh, excitement based on the updates we get. And whatever Mr. Bufara tells us is based on estimates and not exactly, because we will only get the exact thing when we see it hit the, the waves. So we are expecting, we would like it to happen, even I would want it to have happened even yesterday. It's not yet here, it's going to be here. So if my brother is emphasizing on the end of September or within the month of September, everything here is based on estimates and not official message from the CEO. So uh, Andy, you have been away, we've been missing you. Just come on, raise your voice, ignite, inspire, and motivate bro. Welcome again. Oh, nearly put my mouse. Um, <clears throat> uh, thank you guys. And um, uh, thank you for asking me uh, to come on. What can I say? Uh, why am I so excited? It's a very good question. We've been part of this journey for quite some time now. And certainly with the uh, the issues that have uh, and the the situations that have occurred in recent months, many people are kind of waning a little bit and and wondering what's going on and scared that it's not going to happen and no. <laughs> um this is why I'm so excited and probably more excited now than I have been. We've erased the issues. We've got rid of the toxicity within the company, people trying to close us down, people trying to, you know, um, harm the system, harm the situation and create problems for everybody that's part of it. Asher's worked out who that is or who they are, worked out what's gone wrong, 
and now he's in a position to put everything right. And, and we're going to get back, as Comfort said, the estimation is before the end of this month. Fantastic. I'm very excited because now we've got rid of those poor systems, poor situations, poor employees, um, evil ends, shall we say. They've gone. We don't need them. We only need the positivity because at the end of the day, our CEO will not give up. And now that he's found the issue, dealt with the issue, it's everything going forward. So this is what excites me more than anything else. And I cannot wait because there are so many individuals, companies waiting for what we have. We are a difference to what is there at the moment. Everything is based upon this. Everything in the marketplace today is based upon profit. How much profit can we make our shareholders? How much money can we make ourselves? Thank you very much. It's got nothing to do with the, the actual end user. And that's really sad because that's not the way it should be. What we're doing is providing and producing something that's actually value for money. And when other people, other customers of some of these other companies realize the difference, realize the change, they're going to go back to that other company and go, hold on a second, why were you charging me this amount when you could have done it for this all along? That's not right. And it will change the entire system over time. It's a different way of thinking, a different process, and I love it, and that's why I'm so excited. Thanks, Comfort. Back to you. Wow. Thank you, Andy. I'm, I'm happy that you went back to that because that excites me too so much because we were at that point where we were like, all right, everything's gone. Where do we go from here? But before you know it, he shows up and says, we've got it back. You know, So that's quite exciting and excitement because you ask yourself a lot of questions but then he brings the answers. So uh, thank you for bringing that up. And of course, let's gradually move around to our brother, Oliver. Bro, welcome. So give us some igniting stuff and inspire us and motivate us. Yeah, hi. Hi, everybody. Um, I would like um, uh, my big bro, Maddie, to talk because uh, he's, uh, he has free time now. Let him talk and then I'll come after him, please. I'm sorry. All right. Yes, Madi. Uh, uh, all right. Okay. Um, Go ahead, Marty. I saw you, but I thought that you, uh, Bob should speak. But if you, you think that you want to talk now, you can go. Okay, ahead. okay. He doesn't Thank know you. I Welcome. sent you. A, he doesn't <laughs> know I sent you a message. All right. Uh, hello, right. everybody. Um, yeah, I have a, a window here that I can say something. I want to give you a different perspective. I, I did this yesterday, but I'm going to do it again. But I'll do it a little different. Um, in 2004, and I, the, what I'm setting up is how valuable on passive is to everyone from my perspective of what the journey I had. Um, in 2004, I wound up on disability, uh, 42 years old. The business I was in before, a regular brick and mortar business, I traveled all over the world, got to meet people. It opened my eyes that everyone wants the same thing for their families. Um, no matter what country I was in, uh, people are pretty much the same. Uh, I, I, I saw that a lot of the problems were more governmental and people running com companies had a lot more power and caused a lot more problems. It wasn't the actual people. Now, you don't know that when you're stuck in your own little country for all your life and you find out the evil empire, I went to Russia and they were beautiful people. The hardworking, they worked like crazy. And it was a month where I was at, I was in Siberia. And I'm thinking, wow, man, you know, it's so bad to judge a book by its cover because usually the cover's a lie. Anyway, to get to my journey, after I wound up on disability, I kept telling my work, oh, I'll be right back. And the doctors tell me, uh, no, you're not. So anyway, I didn't. So I have got kids, four kids, teenagers at the time. And 
now they want me to live off 60% of what I made instead of 100% of what I made. Now I'm struggling already. Uh, so I, I looked around. I said, what am I going to do? What's this internet thing? So I had a computer and I said, people are making money online. I'm going to do that because I'm home. I can use the internet. It just made sense to me to be able to do something like that, figuring I can't walk around. And I did the Amway thing, going to different homes. I did okay on that, by the way, but I it those days are gone. So I said, let's see if this old dog can learn some new stuff. So I got online, went to a business. I have no idea what business it was. It was a long time ago. In fact, I was calculating with Mike Ellis that we were probably in 50 to 60 businesses just since the time I've been with him in, in, in 10, 10, 12 years. Anyway, I got on, and, and <clears throat> I know that you need tools. You need something to be able to do whatever it is you're doing, even if whatever it is. It doesn't matter. So I got in. I went to the first business, the person, the guru, whatever you want to call them. There's four or five, three or four people at the top. You knew they were at the top because they ran everything. And they tell you, okay, here's what I want you to do. Make a list and then go to those people and share this. Sometimes they would even write it for you or give you a, a, an affiliate link. Okay. I looked at it. I said, okay, how do you do it? Okay, how much money can you make? You never really knew. So I went at it. I made a list of my friends and family, and and my friends and family at the time uh, believed me. Now, remember, when I'm sharing this first business, second business, 50 of them, it was always I believed it would do good for them and me. Well, I did it. I had maybe 10 people come in with friends and family and they're hot to try it, and we're gonna we're gonna do really well. Well, it goes back to the saying that Bob Tacusi always says: every week or every month, I kept learning things. I'm seeing things I didn't know. I didn't know. So I'm going. Well, I didn't know that. And how do you do it? And I didn't know that. And how do you do it? And this went on and on and on. Well, the family and friends that I brought in. They came in because I said you can make ninety thousand dollars in ninety days, right? They don't want they're they're not as driven as I am. And then as I'm going, I'm thinking, okay, they told me I have to have an auto ship in thirty days. So whatever I bought, and by the way, the first kit I got was somewhere two fifty to five hundred dollars. They send you a box of whatever it is they're selling potion, lotion, whatever. That that gets you started. So I did that. I convinced my family to do that, my friends. So we all did it. Then I'm thinking, as time's going on, first day, first week, second week, I'm going, wait, two weeks, I'm going to have to pay this thing again to even stay in this business that's supposed to be paying us. <clears throat> So I made a few bucks because I talked 10 family members and friends to get in and I'm running out of time. I'm done what they said. So I'm like, so I'm digging now because I know that my family's going to be asking me what's going on. And I said to them, what do I got to do? Oh, you just got to get traffic. Where? And they said, well, they got traffic exchanges, safe list. You can buy solo ads. None of this was told me in the day one. None of it. I was naive. I didn't know. I didn't know. Okay, so I, I'm going and going and going. Well, needless to say, that first month got gobbled up. The family's going, what are we supposed to do now? I said, well, look, just buy the kit one more, buy the products one more time. And they said, no way are we doing this again. We're already behind 200, whatever it was, 500. We're not doing it again. So now I'm down to maybe three people that, you know, the three really loyal friends. And we go to month number two. I join every safe list. I join everything. I'm doing all these things. And, and I found out, you know what uh, a traffic exchange is? You join it, and there's thousands of people in there. 
and they all have the best business that was ever created. And they're sharing their business. You look at their website and they look at yours. And if you look enough of them, they give you points so you can share your business even more. I'm like, wait a minute, this doesn't make sense. So we're all fishing in the same pond, except we're all trying to catch each other. There's no fresh fish in there. It's me trying to convince Bob that my business is better than his. So none of that works. Hold on a second. Um, so I, I thought that makes sense. And then me thinking, oh, I know what I'm going to do. How much does a traffic exchange cost? So I go to eBay. I find a script, 15 bucks, whopping 15 bucks. And I go, what I got to do now? Well, you got to host it. Well, then you got to get a graphic designer. So I found a lady in California. She built it all up, beautiful website. And I felt for the beautiful website means everybody's going to come. No, they're not. They don't know what's there. I don't care how much, how nice your website is. So I said, well, I'm going to build it with a bunch of traffic exchange people. And then I can put my ad, my number one best product in the world at the top. I did that for about a year or two. It really did very little. Because I was bullheaded, I didn't quit. I make a few bucks, but I found that my biggest day, which was months and months and months, is the month I broke even. I actually had the audacity to jump up and down and go, I'm even. I mean, what the heck kind of crazy business is that where you go, you're bragging about being where you were before you ever came in. So I said, something's wrong. So I'm going down and going down, and, and I'm seeing these guys with really big businesses. And I'm like, what are you doing? What do you mean? You're not doing traffic exchanges and all that. Uh, oh, um, I, I advertise. What do you mean? I, I set up ads on different Google and Click click funnel and all these weird things. So I said, okay. So I go into Facebook and I learn how to get targeted traffic. Now this is nine, 10 years down the road. Trust me, it took a long time. So here I am and I, I start what they call Facebook lead ads. And I set up the ad. Now here's what happened. You set it up. It takes about three months to really fine tune it where you can afford the lead that comes in. So I'm doing this for a company and the company folds. So I did all this branding for two months and the company that I'm actually saying is the best in the world is gone. Great. So I re, I have to redo it. Now I'm, I still, I can drive traffic, I have nowhere to drive it to, so I stop. I find another company. I said, oh, this looks like the real deal. I do it again. Now, during this time, you're building what I call tools for your trade. I'm building the tools for my trade. So I go down, I find another one, and there it is. Boom, 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 boom. So I don't want to tell you the horror story, but finally I meet Mike Ellis and Dan Street. And... The main thing was, and you're going to find this out in anything you do, especially in unpassing, trust is a big deal. I have a beautiful family in every country in the world. That's priceless. That's one thing about unpassing. And because we were driven together by heart instead of so-called knowledge, it made an ideology, which you will hear us talk about a lot. And I love that part of it. But anyway, so I met Mike. And he met me in a webinar, and I was arguing with somebody about traffic. And he called me later and says, uh, I, I think you're right. That's great. So me and him, we we joined forces. Uh, I never met him. I've, no, I've worked with him for 12 years. Never met him in person. But the main thing we had was trust. I trust Mike, give him the keys to my home. I would give him a credit card that doesn't have any balance on it, but I'd give it to him if I had to. And then his friend was Dan Street. And Dan had a little money. So he was our banker. 
So we go on to the next one and, and we get in the business and we build it to 10,000 people. And the business is moving back and forth. We're doing fairly well. We're starting to make money. And it hits me. Back to something happened I didn't didn't think about. All the people that we're bringing in that I feel responsible for, they don't know what to do. So now they're at a point where we didn't know what we didn't know. And I said, well, I'll just share what I did. And then I realized I'm going to take 10 years of this craziness and shove it into a little box and say, here you go, do this. I tried. And then we found out you might be able to help two people. And if you do the math, then you can help two people, and they can help one, and then they can help a half a person. The math doesn't add up, as you can ask Andy Burks. The math just didn't add up. And if you do the calculations, I would have had to live to 3,000 years old to make a pretty good income. That doesn't bring anybody else with me. It just drags them along. And in the MLM business, they have a lot of, they persuade you to keep going, but the, what it really is is a lie. And there isn't trust because they're telling Johnny, you're doing a great job. If you keep that up, you're going to do very, very well. In reality, Johnny has brought in one person in one month. And I'm sitting back with Mike and Dan going, if Johnny keeps doing that, the people with him don't know how to do that. So in six months, Johnny's going to have one person. So now I'm getting a little bit discouraged, like, wait a minute, we have to figure out a way to build, then make a system we can give to other people so they can build with us. It's craziness. So this went on for a long, long time. One of them we built 20, 30,000 people. It was an app, a game, a sporting game app. We're going to clean up. We are going to clean up. We did it. We had probably one of the biggest teams in there. And the app launched. And there was something missing. It wasn't fun. You can't have an app, a game that's not fun. And I'm trying to make it fun, but it's not fun. Of course, Dan comes back and goes, this isn't fun. I go, I know, Dan. But we had spent seven, eight months on that. We actually had one ad that had a million views on it, 990-some thousand. So now I'm like, I am I went to them and I said, look, we did one more business or something. But by the end of 2018, I, the, the conversation was, look, we can either go get a script, make a business for ourselves, add digital products in it, because I know we could set it up where people could make money. You know, because at that point, I'm thinking, look, if I can make five and give away five, I would do it because I wanted to grow. I, I'm not, you, you can't think about business one day. Then I said, well, we don't have the money to do that. And then I'm thinking, I we I even said to Mike and Dan, look, I think I'm going to quit. I, I can't keep doing this. Now that we know what we do know, and we could drive traffic, I know talking to that person, whoever it is, man or woman, that they don't have a chance in hell to make any money. They don't have a chance. And I'm going that. Well, I don't want. I don't want that. I didn't want that. But I realized at that point. Well, before that, that I'm looking for a company called on passive, which wasn't really going yet. I wish it was, well, maybe I don't wish, but if it was there, we could have cut through all the crap. So in the beginning of 2019, I knew Red and Peter. Peter, I saw him on Facebook. I said, what are you doing? I'm passive. And the rest is history. I went into I'm passive. I listened to what they said it's about that this guy in Orlando wants to build a business and share the revenue that comes in. And I went, 
wow. And I'm thinking, yeah. But he's going to get in the same position we were in, where how do you make everybody successful? And he did it. And I listened to it, and I went, man, if this is 10% of what I think it is, I have to do it. So he said 97. I thought it was $970 or what I thought it was $97. Why is it so cheap? Totally the opposite, right? But it's so it was cheaper so everybody in the world could participate. Even a country that's that's poor, they could get a family together and come up with $97 eventually. I know that now. Then, then I was stupid. And then I looked and I said, well, there's 16,000, something like that, already in. Oh, it's saturated. Small thinking. The world's got 8 billion people. 13,000, 15,000 is nothing. It's, it doesn't even exist compared to the scope of how many people there are. And there were, at the time, over 54, 5, 5, 5,400,000 online or something. So I said, yes, I signed up. I went to Mike and Dan, tried to explain it, wasn't any good at it, but I was persuasive, and they joined. And then we learned what was going on. And, and at that point, I thought, we thought, if this business is what we think it is, now we're going to build relationship and we're going to build the business. So I started a group called On Passive Nation. Most of you know it. And said, I want to know people. I want them to know me. That's how confident I was in this business. Even though I didn't know everything, if it is what it is, we should know each other. It shouldn't be a fictitious name of some guy that lives in uh, Fiji or something. So that's what we did. And then I went back to Red and then I said, I want to meet Ash. What? Now, every business we were ever in, I met the owner. Or I met as high as I could go because I'm responsible for people I invite in. So I think the, what they said back was good luck. So I went back to Mike and Dan. I said, look, he's going to be hard to get a hold of. Let's do this thing like we know how, as hard as we can, build relationship, build up the group. Uh, Dan made 80 autoresponders. We made many, many, many videos. Mike was the video guy. You all know Mike. And we went after it but in a bubble called on Passive Nation. I said, if we do this right, and make a big enough splash, Mr. Mufaro will contact us if, if, if he is who I think he is. Three months later, Ash called me on the phone. The rest is history. But what he said then, I love what you're doing because he loved people. Wasn't that difficult for him? He understood what we were doing. And... Um, what I'm telling everybody here to round it all up, and I mean this from the bottom of my heart, all of the stuff I had to do and failed, and this, and I'm telling you, I failed at MLM being able to drive hundreds of targeted traffic to a business. So if I failed at that, look where everybody else would be. There was much people much better than me and Mike and Dan. But the point is, we could do 99% of it, and we failed. And look at all the poor people out there, millions and millions of people following a guru or guri or whatever you want to call them, and, and one shiny object after another, after another, after another. And most people, 97 to 98%, fail. Not only fail, they lose money. They get into a business online and lose money. So here's the difference. In Unpassive, you're given all the tools. You're given everything, and you never have to say, I didn't know what I didn't know. That will never come to your thought. Because as you reach back to grab a tool, it fits everything you need. And the toolbox is full of targeted traffic, the best quality products in the world at the lowest price, and all of that, talk about, you, you always hear online, 
You need to have more than one stream of income. I want you to go to a plumbing shop. That's on passive. There'll be hundreds of streams of income, hundreds of streams of income, because he built it with his experience, and he knew. Think about this for a minute. He built a custom business. He's a multimillionaire. He was known in the industry as a super uh, affiliate. Okay, super affiliate. He's got records in companies of bringing the most people in than anybody else. But you know what? He hated it too because he couldn't bring people with him. Now, I do want to tell you, at his scale, he has made people millionaires, just so you know. Everybody know. He has made millionaires out of people that would just I'm going to give you another example. You see this online. You hear people say it. Ash did this, Ash did that. I'm going to give you the facts here. I, I didn't say this yesterday. Ash would make, when he was in business, MLM business, he would get a business if it went long enough. He would look at the plan and master the plan as quickly as he could. And then he would build a system that was um hooked to that business. In other words, it was branded to that business and give it to the people that he brought in. So they could take this mini Ask Me For a business and, and, and build into that business and actually be successful. And some were successful. Some were so successful, they made millions. I, I talked to somebody one time a few years ago and we were talking about Ask Me For and they said, oh yeah, he made us millionaires. No joke. So what did he do now? He leaves that industry for the same reason we did. But and I'm, I'm not comparing to Ask Me For. That's stupid. I'm not even trying. But I'm saying same re reason, but a bigger scale. And he, and he left, and he looked for a better business, just like everybody else. The business folded or whatever it did. One of the businesses he's in, I believe he's still CEO, is uh, uh, GDI. But anyway, uh, he went with his family and his wife. Months went by and he said, look, it's not getting any better. The corruption's worse. And the only way that we have anything to con that control that we can do this is not hook onto another business, but make our own. Actually create our own business. He started to create a business. Anybody that's been here a long time, somewhere about 19, I mean, 2020, middle springtime, he said he saw how many people were involved. He realized that the corruption was even worse and the need was much bigger than he thought. So he started to expand. And he said at that point, I'm going to go all in. The dream that I have of AI making everybody so it's possible for them to create income, walk away income in some cases. And you've heard him say dream. And then you say, you have a dream? Yeah, dream bigger. Went back and started to scale so that he took a, he took a business that if he built for himself, would have made him a trillionaire, in my opinion. And he said, I'm going to scale it so that everybody watching, if you're involved, has the potential of making as much money as you ever dreamt of. That's what he did. That's where we're at. And on top of that, you too, I don't care who you are, you're a single mother in Africa, you're struggling and you lay in bed, looking up looking up to the ceiling at night with tears in your eyes, Can it, it's got to get better. This is better. This is for everyone. They can look up. This is the answer. I've seen everything. I've seen business come out. I've had people call me. I'm, oh, look at this new one. And I've seen some founders go scurry over to it. They're gone now. There is nothing. There's no man on the planet, as crazy as that sounds, that would do what Mr. Mufaro is doing. 
And even with the bad crap that happened, and trust me, when we hear the story, it's worse than we think. But all the fire and brimstone or whatever you want to call it, a silhouette walked through there with smoke, his pants are smoking. It was Ashmapara. He went nowhere. He didn't just say do or die. He meant it. And now he's working right now to bring us back where we should have been two years ago. And we will be amazed. But if you got you have the tools, you don't have to worry about traffic. He will have it available for you. It'll be targeted. You don't have to worry about pages. It will be available for you. And on top of that, he'll have an, a system where you could take a business. Maybe you love some of the stuff you're using that, that you really say it helped you. You could put it in the marketplace and sell it. This is amazing. This is a multi, multi stream of income. It's Niagara Falls. Anyway, that's all I have. I'm sorry it took so long, Cooper. I know I went over my limit, but thank yeah. you. Thank you, Marty. Thank you. I think it, it was it was worth it, guys. Um, this is the topic for today's series. We should come here to ignite and to inspire and of course motivate people. I'm not sure how many people were motivated listening to Marty, but then this just blew me off my seat since yesterday. I can listen to this over and over and over again. All of the things that Marty has said, I'm so proud of myself because one. I am not going to find out to know what traffic exchange is because it's not my job. It is Ash's job. I'm not going to learn how to get targeted traffic because it is Mr. Mufara's job. I'm not going to be facing trust issues because Ash is facing trust issues on my behalf. So guys, I'll let you go. It's not my place to take over the meeting. So brother Oliver, I, you have the mic. Hi, everybody. Uh, Thank you, Bro Madi. Thank you, Bob, also for five for you, you know, to start to fire us up at the Bro Madi, man. You have given us the assurance, like our CEO. And if if there's anybody here that has didn't didn't get the message from uh Madi, like my sister Comfort just summarize it. You know, targeted traffic, you got it. Business structure, everything, you got it. This take me now to make us to understand that people talk, people talk that it's too long, it's too hard. Let, let me let me say this. No successful business will go through without challenges. And each time you get challenged, for what I've learned from Mr. Ash Mufara, each time you get that challenge, it's a time for you to sit and reflect and re-strategize and come back powerfully. And that is just what he is doing. And that is just that is just what he has done. That is just what he has done, you know? And now today, I'm more than 110%. That confidence, or happy, or say I'm fine, and how you want to put it, you know? Because our CEO was focused, and he's gonna make all of us fine. He also make us to understand he also make us understand that we are coming back. We are coming back. The business is coming back. We are taking that curve in a positive way and with positive changes. This brings me again into another point of transferring the risk. I talked about it yesterday. We have zero risk. You pay at $97, stay where you are, or what he needs from us, check your back office, Check your, your OES. The OES is down. Yes. What are you doing now that the OES is down? We are preparing to come back with positive changes. What are you doing? What are your dreams? As an IT person in security, I will say, look, please, if you get money, start planning yourself, how you, your dreams and your goals, when things start rolling, go get a good laptop, a good computer, a good whatever gadget that you want that is the one that you're going to use and install your malware. Practice is the best practice to change your password every 90 days. I know we like to go online, especially our women, our sisters, they like to go online shopping. Be very careful. Your credit card number, your credit card information, those are personal information. Be very careful. There are, there are bad guys out there. 
do not use your machine, your laptop. When, when I say machine, I mean your laptop, your phone that you want to shop. If you know you don't have, you don't, you don't have that best practice of, to install that that um, security malware there. Make sure you install it before you go. Please be aware also. Be aware also of emails with link. So this brings me back again now to the transfer of risk that Mr. Ash Mufara has taken all the risk, all the bullets. Things are happening in the company. We are there. We just listen. We just look at waiting. But he's the one working day and night. No family time. No personal time. Let me say this. It's, when I talk of tra transferring the risk, it's like your, your car. You buy a car, you buy your, your car insurance. You've transferred that risk to that insurance. Anything happened, the insurance take care, of, take care of it to maintain the car, to give you a new one, whatever. That is how our CEO, that he has taken that bullet. He, he, he is the one taking the bullet, that risk. And we are zero risk. And later, our future is going to be, we're going to have that financial independence, that time freedom, that financial freedom. And our generation will never suffer. Then come again in the humanitarian side. He has balanced, he has balanced the world, not only to balance the world, he, ha he has equipped that's like that equilibrium between the rich and the poor will no longer be there because we are going to impact people's lives all over the world, from Australia to Africa to India to everywhere. At least one, two, three, ten percent, or fifty percent, or even even if it's 2%, the world is impacted, we are going to be in a very better place. Come again. The, our setup, our, the structure of unpassive, like my brother Bob just said, nobody comes to unpassive without passing through you and I. All of us, the 1.4 million founders. So please, when they reopen, activate. Pay for your product. So that from that day one, you start reaping the benefit. The traffic start coming into you. When you delay, at your own risk. You delay at your own risk. No matter how it's going to be, our CEO is, is somebody that has that humanitarian feeling in him. You know, he look at us, we are all family. So when I, when I talk about this, when I look into Unpassive, we are not in the stock market company that goes to the stock market, you know, guess what? Those are the top, the shareholders, they make the money. But the money comes to who? You and I. Again, on passive, come again. MSI, multiple source of income, all connect. You have all traffic, you have all academy, you have all this, all desk, all virtual. So you have multiple source of income. A good businessman like Richard Branson always says it's good to have multiple businesses. If this one drop, this one pick up, this one drop, this one pick up, and we have that platform and everything that, that you want to make the money, Ash is going to give us that for us to pay for extra traffic. You have this, the multiple income coming in. Not only that, verification. Our passive will be that only company that people comes in that they are verified. If there's one billion, if there's one billion traffic or one billion customers, that is one billion targeted and that is verified. That is verified. My dear brothers and sisters, we are fine wherever we are. And the time has come that we are going to realize our dreams and our life will never be the same. Thank you, Sister Comfort. Wow, thank you, bro. Thanks for about delivering again as usual. Of course, we are fine. Thank you. So let's hear from our sister from Sin. She's welcome. <laughs> um, I have a, a noise at the background. Can you hear it? No. We you can don't hear, hear only it. your voice. We can hear your voice, ah, okay. we cannot hear the noise here. Yeah. Good, good, good. I didn't want to to make some noise for your, your ears. I am thrilled after listening to Mr. Digamo, honestly, 
I just realize how blessed we are. I just realized the gratuity, what, what, what it means really, gratuity. When someone had such a, a curses, you know, starting, failing, standing, starting again, starting again, and keep on moving, it shows us that we are on the right track because we have not seen everything Mr. Mufare have gone, has gone through since he started this journey. The picture he gave to us so far is the picture of success. Anytime that person, anytime our CEO comes to address us, it's first of all, very positive, relaxed, simple, but focus with the same message. Be still, it's a done deal. And when I'm listening to what we just had before, uh, before us tonight, I realize how blessed we are and the mission that lies upon our shoulders. We don't have to take it for granted. I would come to that aspect of gratuity and humanitarian aspects. So far, we don't know many businesses that come and they say we are here to change the, the status of humanity, to give dignity to human beings. Of course, we do have so many companies, they have foundations here, foundations there, but we know also what is coming out of that. And we know why they do have some foundations here and there, because sometimes it can help for your tax, just for your tax. You will give here, but you will get much better there because you don't have to, you know, you have been in court helping. And now we have someone dedicated to change that, to give humanity to the human, to give to the human being his status in dignity to stand without any discrimination because on passive is open worldwide. How many countries do we have in passive? There has been no difference, no selection, not because you are beautiful, you have been to that university, you, you come from this. No, it was open. Here we are giving, offering. It's, we, are, we are offering to the world its dignity. We are giving it back to each human being. And this is something which is really I don't know if we realize that type of blessing in a very specific period our world is going through. Now, I want to just remember something that was written somewhere where it says, bring your load to me, I will carry it for you. It's exactly the same message Ash Mufare is sending to us. Why are you worried? Why do you want to do everything when I have already everything for you? It reminds me also some words from the same book. There was two ladies and one was so active doing this and that. And the other, the, the, she said, why do you let my sister sit near to you when I have so much to do? And he just answered, she has chosen the best part. Why are we so excited trying this, thinking of that, doing? He said, be still, I'm handling on passive. I will give you the best I could give to you. When someone tells you that, for us ladies, if a guy tell you that, you say, hmm, this is the one. So 
Ashmu Fare is the one he told us. And the only thing we have to do now is just to send him positive energy so that this project will stand for years to come and the face of our world will change. Let me tell you that all of us sitting here, we are part of that project to change the face of the world. And it is not by uh, any, I don't know what, we are living the, the moment we live in the world. It's because we are the salt. We are the best of the best and we have to understand that. And we have to work on ourselves to have the energy, the mindset that fits on passive. It's not for everyone. Those who are coming thinking that they would be this and that, no, that's not the message we are getting here. Somebody has suffered for us to get on passive. Someone has been working spiritually. He has been working his brain to make the world a better place. And our duty, our duty is to be still, to send positive energy to him, to send love. We have to start learning what it means to love somebody. At that point that you say, I'm making you this, just wait and see. I love you so much that I show you how to go the way. I show you how to make it. Just be still. And that's what I would love all of us to keep. Let us learn how to love because we are getting something for free. And if we don't know how to give it freely to others, it means we are outside the mission we came to on passive to achieve. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Sister Francine. I like the emphasis on us learning how to give because you cannot give what you don't have. You know, there's this saying in French that ce n'est pas le donné qui est important, mais la manière de donner. So if you, what is important is not what you are giving me, but how you give it to me. So if we don't learn how to love, whatever thing we take here to wherever, it will never make any meaning. I really appreciate you for saying that. So, Brother Vincent, what's your take for today's discussion? Ignite, inspire, motivate. Yeah, thank you, everyone. Hello, everyone. Those who are here and those who are watching us, thank you. And hello again. Happy Sunday. Uh, to start, I will say thanks to my brother and sister, starting from Bob Takosi, uh, Sister Francine, uh, Andy, uh, Oliver, and uh, Marty, so thank you very much for these great speakers. So the Marty and all of them, they said a lot. So I don't have uh, too much to say about uh, what they said, but I will try again to say something. So on passive, like uh, Mr. Ash Mufara said, he said on passive is here to stay. So we all know that. So this is also a part of motivation, I would say, is the, is the main motivation because when the CEO come out and then say, uh, on passive is here to say, what should I say again? He has said it all. So it's also big to say this. So today I'll concentrate also on uh, motivation. So what is a motivation? So motivation also is a, is a powerful force. So that drives us to the achievements, like uh, reach your goals. So if you are not motivated, you cannot reach your goals. You cannot do anything you want to do in your life. So without motivation, it's even easy for our goal or never even reach our future potentials. So you know that you are good, but because if you are not motivated to do it, it could be maybe the best engineer in the world to do your job, to do what you've been assigned to do. But if you are not motivated, you cannot achieve that goal or not even your potential because the motivation is not there. So what we need all of us is the motivation. Today in the church, I know Cole Collins were there. The priest said something that struck me again. He said, a lot of people, they, they have faith, but faith without actions is nothing. 
because if you you have the faith, you know God, you believe in God, you do everything. But you see someone maybe sitting there, he hasn't got even food to eat. You go to the person and you tell him that, oh, pray God will give you food. Meanwhile, you have a lot of food in your fridge. So you could give to the person, but you say, oh, God will help you. So this is not a matter of God now. It's your faith that you have to put in action. You tell them that, oh, take the food, eat. So it's the same thing. So which are the motivation today? We cannot do what we are assigned to do. So on passive, again, is here to stay. So Mr. Ash said it all to us. So today, what we are I'm saying is maintaining a positive mindset. So having the positive mindset is crucial also for staying motivated and overcome uh, maybe obstacles. So because if you don't have that maintaining the, the, the positive mindset, everything also you do, you not get it. You not be motivated. So always you should have a positive mindset. So when you are motivated, you have also a clear sense of purpose. So you know what you are doing and then the purpose of what you are doing, even the direction where you want to take you to, allow us also motivation also allow us to maintain our focus. So if you don't, you are not motivated, you cannot be focused on something or remaining committed to your goal. So this is something that we need to think about that because it's very important. So motivation also gives us a strength because if you have any strength also to move forward, you cannot, you cannot do anything. So it also gives us the determination to push things through you know, difficult times, even keep strive out for excellence. So motivation is something that give us is is the the middle of the engine. So is the central of our life. So we should be keep motivated for what we are doing. Uh, so with that saying, we should also focus on what Mister Ash is doing for us. So we should be all motivated. I know some people are saying some kind of rubbish, but. What we should do, we should keep motivated for what Mr. Ash is doing or whatever he's planning and what everything is doing for us. So another powerful way to be motivated is also to surround yourself with some more positive influence people. But if you have uh, around us people like Mr. Marty Degamo, uh, Collins, uh, Andy, Oliver, Takosi, and all my sister here, Gifty, Francine, they can give you some advice. And when they, uh, they can also give you uh, having a good mentor from them, they can give you some guidance, encouragement, over experience from their life because they can give you some experience. Oh, and then this also can motivate you. So if you have uh, around yourself some bad people, negative mindset, they give you bad advice, they will, you cannot be motivated. So always, also, you can. Check people, good people, who can give you like wisdom or maybe share experience with you. It can put you moving, going forward. So this is also important. Also, they can share their own life, challenges that they're facing in their own life, they can share with you and they can keep motivating you. So in my life, I went through this and then today, this, 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 like what Matthew was saying earlier today. So there's a lot of motivation there. So listen to that. And then to end, I will say, remember also to acknowledge and experience your effort because we all need to experience our effort and also say that with confidence will also motivate us to continue moving forward because if you don't acknowledge what you know and then know that, oh, I'm confident that what well, I'm good and then I can do it. If you are not confident with yourself, you see that, you can't go also forward. So remember all of us that we should also be confident for what we are doing, be all motivated, and then be behind our CEO for the great job he's doing. I know earlier someone was saying, we don't know what Mr. Ash went through or what he was doing, but with the motivation in him, he was here all the time and talking to us. Even he's not showing by his face that is going through so many things. So because he's motivated, so it's behind motivation. So the influence behind him is the motivation. So we should all do like our CEO, motivated and move forward. So this is my message for today. Thank you, Sister Comfort.
Well, thank you. Thanks so much, Mara Vincent, for um emphasizing on it. I think uh, every, it's obvious if you are doing anything without motivation, it's just a waste of time. So thank you so much for coming back on that. So let's hear from, from our sister Mayan. She's welcome, ignite, inspire, motivate. <laughs> just took me out of my so thank you thank you for asking me to talk yeah um hello everybody um to be honest i've listened to everyone and it, it, there's nothing as good as what has all been uh, shared by everyone particularly what i heard from marty in fact that really um touched me a great deal. And then that, on, apart from that, it made me feel so confident about what I'm into, you know, what we are all into, which is on passive, you know. It's so beautiful, you know, to know that uh, this is a man that has been there for a long time. And um, well, saying that I'm talking about Ash Mupara, a brother and friend, you know, to know that he, he has been there and so resilient, so particular in what he's doing and uh, very positive about ensuring that everyone is comfortable and happy. You know, despite all the hurdles he's come through, you know, while doing his, uh, uh, while trying to put us across, you know, he is um, he's still very resilient and he's doing it. So that on its own, to be honest, uh, makes me feel so relaxed, you know, and ensure that there is nothing there's nothing else to bother myself with, you know. This is the same thing I say to everybody that come I come across. You know, you don't have any reason to be anywhere else other than a you non-passive, know, you know, because, um, I mean, what else do you want? You know, we've got it all. So um, we're, not, we're not lifting anything. I don't have a clue what's happening. You know, I don't know anything about technology of the level of technology he's um, ex uh, ex exposing here. You know, but then I'm still in it, you know. So when people come up to me to talk about it, and I'm like, yeah, why not? Um, uh, there is no reason to go anywhere. And that is why, it, for me, there's a great show of appreciation. We really need to show a lot of appreciation, you know. And um, that on its own encourages and motivates us, you know, to carry on um, waiting, it might sound like we're only waiting, yeah, you know, but then in the long run, we have every cause to to be happy because we've seen everything prior to now. No, it's not like we are coming, something is coming from the blues, you know, which we've never known and somebody's just talking and trying to encourage us to be in it. No, it, it's something we've all seen with our eyes, you know, from over the years up to June when, well, sorry, not June. Um, yeah, about that. As a, uh, up to June when, um, you know, the system went, they started migrating it, you know. So we've seen it. We've seen it. We've used all the, uh, most of the products, you know. So we have no reason, you know, to back out at this point. You know, there is every reason to be highly motivated in this business, to be honest, because there's none. We've all heard from Marty, which is true. In fact, most of the things he was saying, you know, sounded extremely familiar because, I have been there as well, you know, somehow very much on a very low scale, but then I lost a lot of, a lot of money, you know, and I see no reason why I I would just back out like that and also encourage anybody else uh, not to carry on with a, a great business as this. And, um, and you know, um, at this point, I will want to say that I am particularly very grateful to our brother and friend Lash Mufura. And I would want to also encourage people to please stay focused. Stay focused, wait and 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 enjoy the uh, getting the rip, you know, ripping the uh, the what he's doing of, you know, because um we don't have any reason, to be honest. I I don't know why we have I'm sorry, you know, for me it's like this is just like um you know, recounting so many things that is not uh, particularly necessary. If you have, in the first place, come into a passive to start with, and you've been seeing it all over the place, you have no reason to back out, unless you didn't even have an interest in what you're doing, or you were just in the blues, you didn't even know what you're doing, as if somebody pulled you from 
from nowhere and pushed into something, you know, for you to have been here. So for some people, it's about six years. And for me, it's going to, it's four years, you know, for me to be here and keep on being in it, you know, it, I mean, it's enough to encourage anybody out there, you know, to say, oh, there must be something particularly interesting here. In fact, my former boss, where I was, I used to work in a, uh, in a, in a mining company in Ireland. And uh, he actually called me and said, oh, Mayan, what's that, this business you keep talking about? You know, what is it exactly? And why is it that you're still in it? Because I always send our videos, you know, to to him to watch. You know, he's a very top guy, there, you know. But then he keeps saying, there must be something in this business. I say, yes. You know, all you need to do is just key in. You know, because we are all in this. I know you're a rich man already, but then this is a great opportunity for you to come in and also be there for others because I knew him as a very rich man, but he never helped anybody, okay? Even the salary sometimes, I'm sorry, he, he might be hearing this, and I'll send this video to him anyway. You know, the, uh, I mean, he was not there for anyone. He was just there for himself and his family. So this is completely different, you know, and it's something he needs to know. A lot of rich guys need to see what is uh, what on passive is doing what ashmopara is doing you know and it's so encouraging you know so i want to like say um to be honest i am very very motivated i am highly appreciative of what is happening in this business and i'm going to be in it and i'm completely stuck in on passive i'm sorry i'm stuck in it and i'm going to continue being in it so everybody please just be open minded as much as you're watching and hearing what is happening here people are not just talking for talking sake we're talking because it actually comes from the heart you know we've seen that this is real and this is exactly what is required you know for the future particularly the new generation coming ahead you know so we have no reason and to uh, to uh, you know to just look back and start criticizing it doesn't make sense you know we are in it and we are going to excel thank you very much sister comfort thank you for uh, well, giving so me this little opportunity to it join it hard at the beginning <laughs> she said we took her on the back i think it's good to take people by surprise so that they can deliver <laughs> their best as you rightly say you spoke from your heart because you were not preparing and so that was beautiful, sis. We really appreciate you. And of course, let me hear from my own one and only sister, Maxian. Welcome, sis. Ignite, inspire, and just set on fire. Oh, my. I was really unprepared anyway. Good evening, everyone. And uh, thank you for all the previous speaker. I think today... We are inspiring and enlightening or giving all motivation to whoever is listening to us and going to be listening to us sometimes in the future. And uh, what I, I want to start mm -hmm. by one thing. How do we get here? What brings us here? What is the reason we are here? So when you know your why, there's no reason for you not to be motivated because your why is very important. We come in here because in the first place, in the first place, the first day, we trusted somebody with the world that the person give to us and the future that they propose to us. Just like I said this, when you met a guy for the first time and he give you some future, some beautiful world and he tell you, I want you to be mine and you believe him. You did not know anything about him. You believe him and you hook on it. That's your why is the thing that make you believe on him on that day. So along the way, if you say, I don't want it anymore, it means you were not truthful of yourself. Along the way, if you turn off that picture and try to get away from that same person that you have accepted and walk along and get that distance with him and feature on, you said, oh, I don't want you anymore. You have done this and that. Keep going back and return yourself and remember your why from day one. When you go back and you remember your why from day one, you will realize that you will never get away from that person. And my why from day one is what is holding me in on passive, is what is attaching me with Mr. Ashmufara. 
the vision, the hope of doing something tomorrow, the hope for humanity, taking me from where I was yesterday to where I'm going to be tomorrow. That's what is holding me in. That's my why. And your focus and your determination will, will be your reality of tomorrow. If you don't focus and you are determined, you will not get your reality. Remember, when we first came in, there was nothing, nothing that we saw that would attract us. There was no money. Nobody was getting paid. There was no product. We don't even have the name of the product there. But guess what? We were all happy, excited to be in. What happened? What changed? What changed is we have saw some product. We have saw the beauty of what we were getting in. And how dare you see the beauty and where you are going, and now you say you don't longer want to be in. Something is not right. So go back and return on your why. Because yesterday, somebody told me about this great company, and I came in. When the person told me about the company, like I said, it was the love in the first sight. I did not see anything that the husband have at home, like a house, a car, a job. I didn't even know nothing about it. But I believe that this is my destination, where I was going to be to save myself and help other people humanitarian-wise and the way that I was going to be just happy. So what happened today? But what happened is we have saw the product, like I said, we have seen the eye of what Mr. Ash Mufara is getting, giving to us, and we're supposed to be even more than happy and knowing that this is our destination, this is where we are going to go, and we will not stop. We will not stop. So, if you have to shoot, shoot for the moon. In case you fail, at least you're going to fall in the star one. So, that's what Mr. Ash Mufara have tried to give us. He has shoot the moon. And he said, even if you come in and you don't stay at the moon, you will fail inside the star. So my dear brothers and sisters, let us understand that on passive is the only thing that we have. And when I mean we, I mean all of us and the people that they will come in later on. Even those that they have left because they think that they have not got what they want. This is the only place you will get something that will help you, help the humanitarian that you left, help your family, and help the whole world. You will not be away from this. So make your journey a positive one, so you tomorrow you have a story to tell. Thank you, Sister Comfort. Oh, wow. Just beautifully put, as beautiful as Marcian Imam. Thank you, sis. Know your why and be motivated. If you are not motivated, then you don't know why you came here in the first place. Simple. Thank you, sis. So let's hear from our sister, Joan, all the way from Belgium. Welcome here. Good evening, everyone here. Good evening. Greetings from Belgium. Hi. Uh, I thank you so much, uh, Sister Comfort, for giving me this opportunity to talk today. I don't really have too much to say, but I want to appreciate each and every one of us that comes here every week to do something, to keep this company moving. We know how much our CEO have put in and we don't have to leave the dream die. I want to thank Mr. Uh, Matthew Digamo for what he had shared with us, just like his experience, as all of us do know, we have passed through that. And if we are still coming here, it is because of the love we have for the company. We know what is inside. We come here every day to learn. I, for once, I come here every day to learn. I don't know anything about internet or anything. But just the fact that I come here every day, I have confidence in my brothers and sisters who know what we are into. And whatever thing they are telling us every day, it gives us that courage. It gives us that hope. It gives us that, 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 that love of coming back every day. Many people are staying behind. Just because they said, I don't know. Why should I be coming there? I don't know. I don't have what to say. 
me, I don't know what to say, but I just want to encourage you, my brothers and sisters. I am learning from you. And I thank you all, all for giving us that courage, for giving us that showing us that love what you have you share it and that is why we are here every day if i wasn't here we'd have been minus one but if we are here we come we are going to be plus and plus and plus listeners should always be more but we that comes to say it we hear from you and we learn thank you so much for i mean the courage is for every one of us, let us be courageous. Let us stand strong because we know what we are hoping for. The fruitful days are ahead of us. Let's just be patient. I like the words, we will eat the fattest bones for those who persevere. Perseverance is the key to success. Thank you so much. And uh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Guys, watch out. Watch out when somebody says they don't have anything to say. It means they've got something to over deliver thank you so much john and we really appreciate you for every word you offered and of course let's hear from the giggle one gift gifty sis welcome say something wow <laughs> thank you sister comfort my name is gifty safwa i'm calling in from germany ah uh, what am i going to say Unpassive is here to stay. Unpassive is a done deal. Unpassive, we are fine and focused. There is nothing that will make us change our mind. From the one I joined Unpassive, I have seen progress upon progress upon pro progress upon progress. I joined when we were in go founders and then we jump to all founders and then we jump to oes as our brother bob said mr ash whenever he comes out whatever he tells us to do we should do it because we have been following him and we know where he's taking us there is no time to shake we are not shaking we are not moving because unpassive is built for humanity. Mr. Ash Mufari has thought about us and still thinking about us and working 247 because of me and you. If he were to be me, I think I would be not give, giving up because all the, sorry to say, uh, unworthy things that he went through because of me and you, but this man, did not give up. He stood and stood and still standing because of me and you. So there is no way me and you, we have to say we are giving up. No. No. We have to rally behind him with our prayers and support and know for sure that on passive is taking us some way now that is not, I think two weeks now he has not come out to say anything. I'm so happy because whenever he comes out to say something, people twist it. So he's, when he does not come out to say anything, what are you going to take and twist it? Nothing. But he's still working behind the scene. And I love that. Let us gather our momentum behind our CEO. He is a good man. And God has chosen him in this end time, to help humanity. Because what he is doing, I, I think, I bet, if we will say 100 people, he can be the only one because the benefit in on passive, I think we have seen a lot of companies sprout out. How many of them are giving this benefit that this Mr. Ash Mufara, this on passive business is giving us? So all I want to say, Whenever he comes out, whatever he says, we should obey. Whatever he says we, sh we should do, we should obey and do it because we are not remaining at one place. We came from somewhere, we are somewhere, and we are moving to somewhere because he said we are where we are going now, 
we were supposed to be there two years ago. So now from co-founders, all founders, all years, we are moving forward. So whatever he says we should do, we have to do it. And we have to rally our faith behind him because he is taking it to our promised land. Thank you very much, Sister Comfort. I'm done. <laughs> thank you, sis. Thank you. Thank you. And of course, yeah, we, we, don't, we really need to rally behind our CEO, support him with prayers, positive energy, and just keep him going. Thank you. Thanks so much. So, um, I'm, I think, okay, the only person who has not spoken who is on camera is our brother Bruce. After he speaks, if guys, if you are not, if your face is not on camera and you want to make a contribution, then you would need to raise your hand. If we don't see your hand raised and you are not on camera, unfortunately, we will not be calling you because we are not sure whether you're on seat or not. So, Brother Bruce, welcome. Thank you so much, Sister Comfort. Can you hear me okay? Perfect. I'm glad to hear that. First of all, I want you to know I love you all and there's nothing you can do about it. And as far as on passive is concerned, I love on passive to the end of the earth, and there's nothing you can do about that either. What I know about Ash is that Ash has said, if you're in it, you will win. Period. There's nothing left to worry about. If God comes to me in, in the middle of the night and says, I have a, a goal for you in my dream, I would say, what is it? Well, Ash came to me not in a dream, but through the internet and had a goal for me. And what was that goal? Come into this company, I guarantee you, you will win. Come into this company, then $97. I'll never ask you for anything else. Just believe in me and you will succeed. So the more that we talk about this over and over again, the only thing we do is keep telling each other, we're going to be winning, we're winning, we're winning, we're winning, we're winning. What else is there to say? He said, we're winning. As she's also told us, always remember that you are a miracle. Every one of us is a miracle. Everyone is beautiful. Everyone is perfect. And what he has done is created through the will and the guidance of his God, the perfect company, the perfect storm in it. The perfect, the perfect answer to the storm that his way that goes in the world. So now he's saying to us, just be patient, and I guarantee you, you will win. So, like Oliver always says, we are fine. We are fine. We've always been fine. We always will be fine. So there's nothing more that I have to say. Is other than say, I'm so excited about where we are going. I'm so happy to have all this beautiful family that I never had before called on passive. So we are blessed, we are perfect, we are beautiful, and we're in the right place as a perfect time. Thank you so much, Comfort. Oh, wow. Thank you. That was over delivery there, Brother Bruce. Thank you. Thank you. You know, the emphasis on the winning is what we are here for. So if you are in it, then you win it. So whether yeah. you are a registered founder of Unpassive or not, if you are not excited now, then you are not yet in it. And then I'm not sure where your winning comes from. Thank you, bro. Thank you so much. And uh, while we're rounding up, I'll start the roundoff session with... Um, my brother Collins, I'm not sure everybody else is off camera, but those of us who are seeing, looking at ourselves, we, were, we are going to round up this meeting perfectly well. So brother Collins, start on a very powerful note, say whatever you want to say, and then just make your closing remark because the first time you spoke was the last time you were going to speak. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to hide. <laughs> Nowhere to hide though. Nowhere to hide. <laughs> Yes, you know, just want to thank Madi, you know, all those who, you know, spoke before me. You guys are really great. You're doing well, you know. What can we do? There's nothing we can really do, you know. It's just to hang in there, keep believing, you know. Also, be patient. We need to trust Mr. Ash Mufara. Like what Madi said, remember Madi made a statement. Mr. Ash Mufara raised a lot of millionaires. We don't even know that, that some of us are hearing from the first time. But what... 
is out there is more about negative things. You understand? And sometimes most of us pay attention to negativity than positivity. Like Vincent quote, you know, the scriptures today, which I really want to go back to that and hit her. You know, when Jesus asked the disciple, who do, do, uh, do people say I am? It is easy for us. It's, it's normal. You know, people will say a lot of things about you. But when you turn that question back and said, I've been working with you every day. Who do you say I am? Sometimes we shut our mouth because we don't know nothing about the person. You have been working with that person, but you don't know nothing about that person. We listen to negativity. What people, people who don't even work with that person, they say negative things. We pay attention. But when it comes to the things that the person is doing, we have been watching, like those who have really plugged into unpassive. Let me go back to unpassive. We have plugged in. We saw it from nothing to something. If they ask all of us here from our heart to heart, who do we say Mr. Ash Mufara is? We will not even have nothing to say. We listen to negativity. But when we say, who do people say Mr. Ash Mufara is? I'm telling you, all of us here, we said 100 things we have read on social media. And all those people on social media knows nothing about Mr. Ash Mufara. They are not even founders. They don't plug in. They Google and they read nasty things. You know, go and Google your name. You will see nasty things. People will write nasty things about you. So let us always try to concentrate on the positive side of this man, knowing that he is doing something. He doesn't really need it. I always say this thing a lot. I said, Ash doesn't need us to be successful because it's an IT company. He can go on his own and be one of the world richest man. It is true. Elon Musk is going on his own. SpaceX, now they're going to, to space. Holidays. People are going on holidays. Six people that came back yesterday, I was watching. SpaceX. Who is, where is that money going? It's going to one man, Elon Musk. No founders, no affiliate. You know, we're talking about Tesla. He owns Tesla. He owns Twitter. Call it X or whatever. It's one man competing for, for, for the world richest man. Microsoft is owned by Microsoft family. They don't need us. The, to be honest with you, IT company don't need us. Unpassive is the first IT company that has opened his door for affiliate. Go and look at it. Check it. It is there. Somebody will say Amazon. It's a lie. Amazon has platform. They build platform. That's, an, that's a software solution. Company go. They call it marketplace. Company go to that platform, promote and sell their products. Who is getting money? Is Jeff Bezos, but they are doing what multi level using this platform. If you don't pay for his platform, he will shut you down. You cannot operate on his platform. That's an IT company. Ash can do the same thing build marketplace, OMAT, call it whatever, open it for business to come in. They will do whatever they want to do every month. Say, give my money. It's like, landlord, have you paid my rent? Yes, you can do whatever you want to do. That's it. That's exactly what's happening. But when we look at who, when we join on passive, like Mahdi said, I always go back. Over, you know, I just want to explain this, if you permit me, or, or a lot of what to say. We came in for what? To have time and financial freedom. Honestly, that is the truth. I came in, maybe some people didn't come for time and financial freedom. I know when on passive come, that's what brought me in into on passive. It's only when I plug in, I know I can build ge generational wealth. I never know about generational wealth. I know I will line my pocket and I have my time to enjoy myself. You know, coming to make money, maybe for my family and immediate. But now I started realizing that, hey, I can help a whole community. Building generational wealth, not only for yourself, but to bless others. That's what keeps me going. I said, my God, then I can make so much. So money now become nothing because I know the money is already there for me. If I can have so much, because he said, upgrade your dreams. If you think your dream, upgrade it. Ash always keep on telling us that. Means he knows what is coming. And if you understand the solution, what this man wants to provide, multiple solutions, multiple stream of income, you know, that is what is coming. You know, so he is telling us what is coming is even bigger than us. That is the thing we came in for. We came to live, we realized that, oh, we can live lasting legacy. But how many of us have and learn where the money is coming because by doing this you must be able to learn you can't just fold your arms and say wow 
They have promised time and financial freedom, and you are not ready to learn. Know where the money is coming from. The only thing we can do is to understand on passive where would this money come. Because somebody cannot just stand in front of you and say, I will give you time and financial freedom. You say, yes, you go and sleep. I will say, where are you getting this money? I want to know where the money is coming from. That is why I'm, I'm in on passive. Because when I know the time and finance, the, the money is coming, generational wealth. Now I said, okay, I want to start to learn, to know what is happening. So what will happen? I start to plug in. By plugging in now, on passive gave me the platform to make many friends. Who here will say you've not made friends, new people, you've not seen new people in Ompassi? Ompassi create a platform for, for, for as many people as possible. Now we have become friends. You have friends globally. I can see Joan when I go to Belgium. I say, oh, Joan is there. Go to Germany, Gifty is there. Here, you know, go wherever. Marcel, you know, everywhere people are scattered. And the beauty about that, Ash prepare us for this. Look at the logic. When the financial and time freedom will come, you start to do humanitarian stuff. Who will you go with? Is the people you've made in non-passing because they have time and financial freedom like you. Call your friends who are not in non-passing. They'll tell you, my friend, I don't have that time because you have only how many days holiday in your normal job. They will never leave their job to follow you for your time and financial freedom. They don't have the time because if they stop their job, they will be kicked out or lost all their property, lost everything they have built. They need to die on their nine to five. So what can we do now? We can use this platform to tell them, you know what? I like you as a friend. This is the place where you can be like me. You either come in, but I'm not, I'm not forcing you to come in. This is what I'm doing. I don't have time again for nine to five. So now all your friends now are on Pasidia. That is what Mr. Ash Nufra has given us. He showed us time and financial freedom. He showed us generational wealth and he gave us a platform to learn as much as possible. And then he built friendship among us. Compassive gave us all of this. The only thing we need now is to believe, to be patient and to trust the process. That is it. There is nothing we can do. Trust it because it's automated. So it's that comfort. I will throw it back to you. <laughs> Sure, sure, sure. Thank you. We just need to trust the process. Like uh, our sister said earlier on, be still and know that I am God. So Ash just wants us to still and know that he's the leader, that he's leading us to the right direction. Thank you so much. And I appreciate all of those things. Collins, you were talking earlier on about um getting to know who is who and who does what. So like <laughs> breaking news, if somebody thought like, oh, because people sometimes point a few people to say, I would think that you are be you're earning some salary from Ash. So breaking news, Marty De Gamo, they are some of those people who saw somebody's dream. They don't even know the person. He kept it here and went away. He stole it and ran away with it. And then the person came after them. That's now I know how Marty got to know to get to Ash and stuff like that. So do something and you will be discovered. You will be spotted from the crowd. That is how it works. So it's been a wonderful session. I appreciate everybody for all the contributions and all of those who've been coming. And I'd like to let our brother Andy make the final closing remark for us. Welcome again, bro. Thanks, Comfort. Thanks, guys. Okay, so what do we do in this interim? What's my favorite phrase, Comfort? Pro proper proper planning. Um, Prevents poor performance. Prevents poor performance, you know. <laughs> Proper prior planning prevents poor performance. <laughs> exactly. Okay, so we now have a period of time. We know a little bit about the products. We know what's going on. We know that this is going to <clears throat> relaunch shortly and, and take the world by storm. So what are we doing now? What can we do now to ensure that our business gets off and ignites when the company sets up, when the company launches again. So take this time, guys. This is the most important time in any business. It's the planning stage. If you don't plan, you plan to fail. So please take the time to learn as much as you can and plan what what your strategy might be. Yes, we have all of these tools that are going to help us. Yes, we're going to get targeted traffic. And yes, 
you know, it's going to be able to help us build our businesses. But what else can we do for ourselves? What goal have we got? How do we want to reach our goal? So please spend the time planning as best that you possibly can. Thanks, Comfort. Thank you. Thank you so much, Andy. Guys, proper prior planning prevents poor performance. If you fail to plan, you're planning to fail. Guys, in fact, it's very easy to understand. Thank you once again, guys. Let's keep the fire burning. And sometimes what I hear from Mr. Mofares, sound, uh, silence is loudness. When he's silent, it gets really loud. You know, like so much is going on. Let's pray for him. Let's think about him positively. Let's keep on encouraging one another. It's a done deal. Nothing has changed. And of course, the week ahead is still busy because everybody's still doing what they are doing. Andy is there on Tuesday. I'm there like every day. Marty is there every day. Collins is there. They all take twice a, a month and all of those. Let's just visit these platforms. Get encouraged. Like Vincent say, show me your friend and I'll tell you who you are. If you follow negative, positive energy, you go negative and you lose everything. So I'm not starting the meeting again. It's actually closed. Thank you, guys. See you same time next week with much love. Thank you.